hi welcome to my channel in this video also i am giving another example for vector space so let us see what's the problem is being given prove that the set of all real valued continuous differentiable and integrable functions of x defined in the interval 0 1 is a vector space that means you have a set of all real valued functions it can be both differentiable and integrable and it is going to be a function of x so each element in that set will be f of x g of x like that and each one can be differentiable and integrable within the interval 0 to 1 now we have to show that this is a vector space over the field f so let us get into the solution let v denote the set of all real valued continuous functions of x defined in the interval 0 1 then v is a vector space over the field r of real numbers with vector addition and scalar multiplication defined as below so f plus g of x we have to take it as f of x plus g of x for all f g in v and a f of x is a into f of x for all a in r f in e so here the field is going to be set up for real numbers so that is what is being given as r now we have to show that the set of all real valued continuous functions of x which is going to be the set v is going <clears throat> over r the field of order of real numbers is a vector space so we need to prove that first is an abelian group so for that we have to show it is closed and associative and identity exists and inverse exists as well as then finally commutative property when it satisfy all this we call that the given set is going to be a abelian group so first we'll prove that how <coughs> closure property so since f and g are continuous functions and we know that f plus g is also continuous so it is closed with respect to addition and then next is going to be associative so associative f plus g plus h of x that is f of x plus g g plus h of x so f of x this g plus h of x we can write it as g of x plus h of x then we can combine f of x and g of x and that will be f plus g of x and then this can be written as f plus g plus h of x and that is f plus g plus h is equal to f plus g plus h it's a matter of simple understanding that f plus g of x is equal to f of x plus g of x using that property we are proving this and then for identity so the function 0 of x is x as an identity because 0 plus f x is going to be we can split this 0 of x plus f of x this is by definition 0 plus f of x f of 0 of x is 0 and then similarly f plus 0 of x is equal to f of x plus 0 of x and f of x plus 0 that is going to be f of x so the both ways satisfied and hence 0 of x is equal to 0 that is going to be the identity in this function <coughs> in, so 0 plus f is equal to f plus 0 and that is equal to f hence the function 0 of x is equal to 0 is acting as an identity element next inverse element for inverse element we need to remember minus f into f of x is equal to minus f of x so if we add minus f of x with f of x we will be getting minus f plus f into x so minus f plus f is 0 and 0 of x is equal to 0 similarly f of x plus minus f of x again f minus f into x 0 of x equal to 0 therefore minus f of x is an inverse of f of x if it is g of x then minus g of x is the inverse it is like that so minus f of x is an additive inverse of f of x and then next we have the last property is uh, to show it's an abelian f plus g must be equal to g plus f so f plus g of x i can write it as f of x plus g of x and g of x that is also equal to g of x plus f of x that is g plus f into x therefore it is commutative law for addition also obeys hence v plus is an abelian group now let us see the remaining axioms for any a on r so now it's going to be a scalar f g is a function belongs to f a into f plus g of x i can write it as a into f of x plus g of x we multiply we'll get a f of x plus a g of x and that is equal to a f of x plus a g of x i can combine this as a f plus a g into x that only gives you a f of x plus a g of x that means a into f plus g is equal to a f plus a g and then the next one is going to be for any a b now we are taking two scalars from r and then multiply with the function so a b into f of x will be getting a b f of x 
so a into bf of x and i can take this inside so a into b of f so a b into f is equal to a into b f so that is what scalar multiplication also it is satisfies and then next one is going to be a distributive so a plus f into x so a plus b f of x this is a f of x plus b f of x that is a f of x plus b f of x i can write it as a f plus b f of x so for a plus b f is equal to a f plus b f and then the last one is going to be if one in r one is an identity element unit element in r and f in b then one in f is equal to one in f of x that is f of x that means one in f is equal to f so it is that satisfy the remaining axiom a b in f is equal to a b f and a in f plus g is a f plus g and then here it is a plus b in f is equal to a f plus b f one in f is equal to f already we have proved it's an abelian group and hence this function that is the set of all real valued continuous functions of x defined in the interval 0 1 is a vector space thanks for watching Please like and subscribe for more videos.